<laughs> no yellow tags. Got any yellow tags? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Onto the dock, yeah. There you go. 45, 44. What, you want 44? Please. Okay, you're 44. You're the not so bad number after all. In other countries, they're fours, like our 13. That's when you put two fours together, they become less evil. <laughs> or less, or more fortunate. That's, that's a, probably a better way to put it. More fortunate? More fortunate. More fortunate. <laughs> You're not walking the plank yet, all right? Just walking on planks. Hey, Alex, we are coming down. I have all 45 passengers. And the uh, gentleman from the three wing will let you know that if they cannot make it, they won't be able to Yes, I'm still here. Look where you're walking. Don't look back. You're falling the water. Hey, Alex. <laughs> it's like good morning or good morning. Are you going to be making pirate jokes because of my initials? No, I actually hadn't thought about that, but thanks for the reminder. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Go ahead. Why, sure. Good morning again, Pat. There is a hole. Oh, I'm not so we're sure. We're going to go down there. Yeah, we're going to keep everybody on deck. We'll open that up later. Though. Sounds good. <laughs> Don't throw them in the brig yet. <laughs> So, good so far? Yeah. <laughs> oh, filming, yeah. Trash barrel?
Alex. Why do they call it starboard side? I will let these gentlemen answer. They, they call it starboard side because that's the way I learned it. <laughs> because that's the way I learned it. So we, that's the way I was informed. Starboard port. Starboard port. Turn around, it's still the, the it's still the same. You're just wrong. <laughs> Aft. Forward. <laughs> it's called child. No. Nah, it's a little, little warm right now. Nice pirate costume. And so was <laughs> John Luke Picard, actually. This boat is not real, it is a hologram. How many times have you heard that said? <laughs> we are really one, only one. Come on now. If this boat is not real and we are only holograms, does that mean we are ghosts aboard? Well, I can't be true because this was the Interceptor and not the Black Pearl.
I can't see how much swell there is out there today, but if you feel uh, seasick, uh, there's a couple ways you can help yourself. The first one is hold yourself kind of limber, bend at the knees and at the hip. Don't hold yourself rigid. Hold on to something else. If you feel like you need to relieve yourself, there's scuppers down here at the corners. They're also called spring ports. Uh, please feel free to throw up right off the deck. It's better than leaning over the side of the boat. One of us will come by, we'll wash it off, and we'll help everything get back. Yes. Does everyone know where to puke? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can have you come join us over here. Does everyone know where to puke? Yeah. Oh. And you have to tell these people about life jackets again. Oh. But you can have one of the kids tell them. <clears throat> Everyone has a comment. I have 
Captain Ken. And the blue wolf beanie. Captain Ken. Um, is it Captain Ken? <laughs> what else would he be? He's got a pretty important and very, very responsible job. Um, what did you guys learn about safety zones? Where to go, where not to go? More to the woman that's behind the vehicle? Here's a stupid question. What yeah. is the binnacle? What is the binnacle? The binnacle, thank you. No, perfect. <laughs> um, the binnacle is the control box for the entire boat. It's where you can start the engine. Um, it's where the throttle is. It's where our compass is. We have a nav, uh, a nav chart plotter to see where we're going. Um, and that just helps us out with a little reference. Um, all of our radios, our flares, transits, like when we took the boat from Westport, Washington, which is in the middle of Washington, down to Oakland, California for five days, that pinnacle was like a little light box because you need everything in it the entire time. You have your radio, you start doing a vessel, you just go like, coming close to the boat, you got to contact that vessel, oh, and ask them what their intentions are, and let them know your intentions, you ask them to fly. Um, and you steer by a compass, so you sit there with the tiller, and you sit there. Four hours at a time. And it's really just like this. Keep it on. Whatever course that you're watching, it tells you. Um, it's a pretty neat But um, you guys are now free to move about the cabin. If you go on the quarter deck up here, what? What'd you see? Nothing. You patted me, I patted oh, you. Okay. Good morning, gentlemen. How are you this morning? Pretty good, Ken. How about yourself? Light as rain. Oops. Pretty awesome. Wrong words for today. <laughs> well, it's it's okay. This is good weather, even if it does rain. Yeah, it's still nice. Nice to have some rain. Yeah, this is excellent. Yesterday, you guys went out yesterday, right? Yeah, it's down at, over doing a uh, paddle out down at Lindemar. It was awesome watching the whales down there too. Did you see any, any underway yesterday at, uh, at this beach? Well, a few. What we think are whales, you know, we see little spouts in the distance. Yeah, those probably whale? are unpack. And it just starts the argument. Is that a whale? I don't know. Well, we can answer the question today with glasses. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Come on up. Coming down. Thank you.
<laughs> it is so cool. And we're away. Not a big fan of me. 